They say if you don't learn from history, you'll be doomed to repeat it. And I don't know why when it comes to these small businesses or these big businesses, and when it pertains to diversity, equity, and inclusion, they fail every single time and they always have egg on their face because while they're fighting for the right for everybody to just come on in and have a safe space where we can vibe and be free and rub nipples all together because that's what it means for us to all exist in a world happy together, they always miss the mark when they show that they're not really inclusive if you're someone that doesn't fit their definition of that word. Six months ago, I talked about an employee who saw police coming into the pizza shop and they were like, mm, 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 mm. you infringe upon the rights and safety of black people, you must leave. And that dumbass got fired for it. I remember doing a few videos about some lesbian bar or some lesbian coffee shop having a lesbian space for everybody who's lesbian to come in and be free. And apparently it wasn't lesbian enough. And the people tried to take ownership of someone else's business. Spoiler alert, didn't work. And today will be yet another example of people really wanting to be inclusive, but again having Edgong in their face because they don't know how to actually be inclusive. And again, it's because of the police. Cops allowed. That's the policy the San Francisco Police Officers Union claims is being upheld by one Mission District Bakery. And union leaders are showing us the email they say proves what they believe is a bigoted policy. Today in the base, Ginger Conahero Saab joins us from our newsroom and Ginger, this would not be the first time police have been singled out in the Bay Area. What are people saying about this case? Totally right, uh, Laura, and, uh, Laura and Marcus. Uh, not the first time this has happened in the Bay Area. Earlier this year, Pizza Squared, over in the city as well, fired an employee for asking officers to leave. Back in 2021, Hilda and Jesse in the North Beach neighborhood also faced backlash after refusing to serve three officers. This morning, you're seeing reactions from both sides on social media about this, some calling this business suicide for this particular restaurant. On their Instagram page a week ago, Reams, California, said they are temporarily closing their doors on Mission Street to regroup, recenter, and reconcept, and that they will be open through Sunday. That's a day after this incident allegedly happened. The San Francisco POA is saying one officer encountered anti-police bigotry and was refused service when he tried to get a cup of coffee on Saturday. We have reached out to Reams to get their side to this, but have not yet heard back. The POA sharing an email response they received on August 20th third when they reached out to confirm this policy. It reads, quote, at Reams, we do have a policy not to serve anyone that is armed and in uniform. The president of the POA is saying they want establishments to clearly post their policy. And he was told by one of the workers there that uh, they had a policy where they didn't serve people in uniform who were armed. You know, I just was like, you know, here we go again, you know, with this crap, basically. Hey, if that's your policy, then just post it for everyone to see, right? Like, we don't have to play these games. The officer involved, Vincent Fontella, issued a statement saying he was, quote, shocked and disappointed. He says, I politely left because I believe that police officers and community members should spend more time listening to each other than shouting at each other. But you can't do that when your presence isn't wanted and your money is no good. The POA was asked, why make this public? The president says they want people to know because the policy says anyone in uniform and police officers aren't the only ones who wear uniform. We'll keep an eye to see how the story develops. How are you going to go around and have some secret rule that you don't broadcast about how people in uniform, because I believe it was specified that, yes, people in uniform, so it could be anyone, potentially, based on rules and guidelines put in place by people who are too chicken shit to broadcast it publicly, they could stop anybody within a uniform that they think infringes upon the rights of a marginalized group and not serve them in the store. And yes, they've supposedly closed the shop down because they must re-educate themselves on what it means to be in the world and have inclusivity and diversity and equity. I'm gonna need y'all to understand when y'all spout those three words, you have to include damn near everybody. Now, of course, some exceptions can be put in place like murderers or child touchers. None of these people belong in stores or anywhere for that matter. They deserve to be in the pits of hell but when you want to be somebody who's about positivity and about keeping the peace and about having safe spaces you must understand some people want to be a part of that and when you show your bigoted nature and your weird games of trying to kick out people who don't fit your mold and you're a business people are going to see that and they're going to say you know what 
Yes, this is your right as a company, as a brand, as a business to not allow certain people in, which is fine. As a people, we're not going to support that. And if I just want to be that type of bastard, I will be. If you're going to be someone, for example, who is gay or a lesbian or a BLM activist, and you say you don't want a specific group coming into your business, or if you're someone who makes videos or creates any form of content and you say this is for a specific group of people, you cannot turn around and call homophobia or racism if someone who is opposite of you does the exact same thing to someone just like you because that's the pot calling kettle black and a lot of you hypocrites never seem to understand that subscribe to the channel i will see you all at the local safe space coffee shop and i will have my caramel macchiato with a spot of scottish tea goodbye